when you want to wrangle some necks because they are destroying the toy closet you just spent an hour cleaning. But you can't because they're actually playing nicely together. Have I mentioned that I hate winter? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I just heard so much racket in here when I was on the phone with my dad. There's your Hatchimal. And I'm like, no grave, you're destroying that toy closet. But they are. And uh, whatever. It's snowing. It's snow day. We're stuck inside. Happy Monday, everyone. Hope you're feeling great. I'm feeling great. I look a hot mess. <laughs> it's sweats and sweatshirt today for us. It's uh, order Jimmy John's because you don't want to shovel your car out of the driveway day. So that's exactly what we did. And now, yep, at least they're in there together. Happy together, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> They're making a mess, but they're making it together. <laughs> okay, we can survive. I will survive. I will survive. Send help. Send help, I'm losing my mind. I hope you guys enjoyed our live stream last night. Sam and I had such a good time. So it's kind of nice to just do like a live stream. Are you stuck? Figure it out. <laughs> You got yourself in that predicament. <laughs> oh my word, those two. They're so silly. It's getting worse by the second. Seriously, it's getting worse by the minute. Okay, I gotta get these crazies out of here. All right, so today, someone tried to scam me. This is the third time in the past two years that people have tried to scam me. The first was a cruise ship. I got a phone call saying I had won a cruise ship. They were trying to get me to just put like a reservation, like a down payment on the reservation. The second time was the IRS leaving a message on my phone and then I picked up one time and they said I still owed my tax, or I had to pay my taxes still, which wasn't true. And then the third is today. I can't really show you guys the letter because it has a lot of personal information on it, but I got a letter in the mail and it says, in a huge bold title, it says response to this notice requested they gave me like a five day window. Basically what they said is that the factory warranty on my car had expired and that they had special coverage for me. So when we bought our car, I actually got pretty much like the highest package of care as far as maintenance and warranty, etc. I just wanted to be covered. So I was thinking, hmm, maybe this is actually, you know, I got this, I got this letter. I was like, oh man, I don't want to lose out on that. I caught on pretty fast though. I'm talking about this because I think it's important that people understand that there are a lot of bad people out there and they're going to try and take advantage of you. And I feel pretty computer savvy, just like life savvy. I feel like I, I can understand what's going on and see things. I wouldn't say they almost got me, but like I talked to them for a while to see what was going on because I thought I was like, oh man, I don't want to lose out on this. But it's so easy to scam people these days, whether it's on the phone, email, this was in the letter and it kind of freaks me out, kind of freaks me out. Notice these things that they do. They're super polite, way more polite than someone that's just like getting paid hourly to be working at a call center. They try and build rapport and relate to me often. I'm gonna say that I need to talk to my wife and I guarantee they try and relate to that, okay? The other thing is they insist on getting a payment right then and there. They'll continue to like slip it in so will you be using a credit or debit card today or what will that be? Even if I'm like hesitant. They also usually don't have all of your information. So if they're asking for certain things, it's a little, little weird. Let's call them back. The other thing is I Googled this whole little ploy online like as soon as I hung up and everyone said it was a scam. I know there are people that will provide a service kind of like this, but this full scam as far as I can see on the internet. Can I help you? Hi, I was just calling because I got a letter in the mail. Um, in regards to my factory warranty. Okay, I can definitely help you out, help, help you out with that. What is the year and model of the vehicle you're currently driving? And what is the customer ID number on the notice you received? 56417. Sure. It has uh, 12,000 miles. Okay, I'm gonna grab your specialist. I do wanna let you know the call may be recorded. You can grab a pen, I'm gonna introduce you to the specialist, okay? Okay, thank you. So I, I actually gave him the wrong customer ID number. 
Delvin on the line with us. Delvin Staley? Yep. Okay. Thank you so much for your patience, sir, and he'll take great care of you from here, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, hi, Mr. Staley. My name is Randy. I'm going to be helping you out from here. Is everything running okay? Now, if you can bear with me for just a second, I'm just checking to see if I can still get you under our platinum coverage. And while I'm checking, uh, can you just grab a pen or something to write with? Let me know when you're ready. It says I'm going to have 125,000 miles of protection until 2023. Let's see if that matches up. All right, I'm back with a pen. Oh, okay, great. Thanks, Mr. Staley. Well, I do have good news for you. Your vehicle does qualify for the platinum coverage. Oh, the other thing is, is that I can actually pass the date, the so it's true. Years. Uh, or up to 100,000 miles. Now, just like when your vehicle was new, this will cover the engine, transmission, the drive axle, suspension and steering, fuel system, air conditioning, even all the computers and the high-tech electronics. Uh, now, for repair work, would you be taking your vehicle back to the Honda dealer, or do you prefer a local mechanic? Probably a local mechanic. Is that okay? okay? That's great. Because, you know, with this protection plan, it actually gives you a couple options. One is that you can pick the dealer of your choice for repair work, and the most that you're going to pay for... There's a guy that looked up this company with all the mechanics, and they had never heard of it. Which also includes towing, 24-hour roadside assistance, and a rental car. So, Mr. Staley, we can get your Honda Pilot under protection again for the next six years for just 575 $5 per year. And if you multiply that times the six years of coverage, your total investment is only $33.93. I'm going to have to talk to my wife. He's, in time he's married. So the down payment of the uh, 395 you can do that with a debit card or credit card. Uh, which method would work the easiest for you? Oh, I feel like, oh man. I, I, sorry, I didn't know I was actually going to have to pay, um, like a down payment today. I feel like I should probably talk to my wife about it. Well, um, you know, I understand where you're coming from. I mean, you know, I'm a married guy myself and, you know, whenever there's anything wrong with cars, you know, she just throws the keys at me. Oh yeah. And tells me to take care of it, you know, um. I mean, He's really, I mean, don't you think that and you know, your wife it. would be happier knowing that Guilt trip. you know you secured the future of your vehicle with just a small down payment? Yeah, I just uh, we're really trying to budget right now, and so I. Uh, I mean, you know what the what the uh, average repair bill is these days? Probably a couple thousand bucks. Well, you're close. It's probably like fifteen hundred. I mean, I don't know about you, but I certainly could, bucks. you know, pay a $1,500 repair bill, but $100 deductible, so, you know, is the down payment seem a little high for you, or the monthly? I mean, if I can help you out in those areas, would that make it easier for you? Yeah, it, it, it might. What's your uh, time zone there? Mountain Standard I mean, Time? You are... Where, where are you guys located? I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm in the Midwest. I'm, I've got like 340 right now. Are you at 240? Yeah. Are you a Cardinals yeah, no, fan? Man. Are you kidding? Absolutely. Hey, how about them Cubbies though? Ooh, got that World yeah, Series win. You know what? I, I gotta I gotta hand it to them. I mean, you know, uh, as much as we're big rivals with them, you know, I mean, I'm really happy for them to be honest with you. Let's see. I worked there back in '80. Seven, I ran the deluxe suites, and then I came back again in 2003 and 2004. I ran the Cardinal Club Lounge. Yeah, you guys got uh, Dexter Fowler now from the Cubs. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Um, but isn't there like some issues with him with, uh, I don't know, this whole thing with, uh, he, like, I don't know if his wife is allowed to come here or something, something oh, like I that. I thought was going on. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't heard heard about that yet. Yeah, it's something to do with, you know, how Trump is not allowing, you know, like, oh, it, maybe if his wife is not a senior citizen or a citizen now or something like that. Something to do with Trump, you know, and so he's, he's not real happy, I know.
and I was sitting in the very first row in right field. In the, in the, uh, you know, uh, right, like if the right fielder would look behind him and look up, I was like right there. The recording ended because it, I think I can only record 12 minute clips on here. He then told me that his friend just bought the same car as me. Oh, what a beautiful car. Cardinals fans don't talk like that, like to Cubs fans. Like, he's telling me how beautiful Wrigley Field is, how much he loves it, oh, how happy he was. Which, I've seen that from some, but like, the report they try and build with you is insane. Now, last time I talked to them, they then connected me to another specialist that, uh, lowered the price but kept the down payment kind of like the same because that's all they're worried about they just want to get that instant cash 200 bucks 300 bucks in this case it was like 350 or something i don't know and then he said like this person i talked to said the same exact thing i've heard it three or four times i'm oh yeah i'm married too oh yeah you know it's terrible you know yeah blah 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 blah, blah. that guy was a little less adamant adamant i'm sure he's like fist pumping right now because he feel like we, he felt like we made a connection and he's gonna call me back tomorrow. I made up a customer ID number. Like, I just made one up. <laughs> Apparently registered with someone. Shouldn't they know what my car is? Shouldn't they know what the year is if they're gonna already back it up? I don't feel like that call was as evil as my first call. They were a little less aggressive. Be careful, I know there are services out there that are probably real, like this. But people will try and scam you. They'll do anything for it. And it's kinda scary. So be safe, take your time. If someone's forcing you to make a decision on the phone that quickly and doesn't want you to talk to your spouse or someone important in your life like that, like that's messed up. So be careful. <laughs> this has been your Samica Vlogs Scam PSA. What is up, good people of the internet that are watching this video right now? We got more snow today. Fun. What the heck? But in a week we'll be in Florida. I know I keep talking about that because I'm so excited. Today I am doing a massive cleanup of the closet, clothes, a purge. This happens like once a year. Um, usually when we're moving and we have currently been in our place for exactly a year. We've been in this place right here for a year. It's 2.20 a.m. I think we're officially done moving out. And this is it. This is it. I always get kind of emotional because we've had so many memories here and the people that are about to move in, they just have no idea. Hey buddy, hey, is this your new home? Is this where you live now? Let's go take, come on Mr. Handsome. Let's go take some Easter Let's go, come on, come here. He's like in the perfect pose right now. Walk, walk, walk. Whoa. <laughs> Here, you wanna put your mask on too, Noah? We are on our way to get the keys to our new house. weird to me still. Yeah. That was really weird. Oh, there's so many memories in our old uh, place. I know. Is that nice? <laughs> you look a little worm. But we'll Most... make another year of memories here. Yeah. Probably people will be born Animal in this house. Life. And we've been back in Logan for two years, having moved from Salt Lake. So it's time for a purge. It's time to donate things. It's time to clean up. And we probably should do that more often, but I f I'm feeling an itch today. Oh man, yesterday we had a baby. Guys, we had a baby. This summarizes mom's right here. It's like a juggling act. Hi. Hey, you had your eyes open. What's up, pretty she girl? I don't know how to feel right now. Lighter skin, lighter hair. She's a little daintier. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Bless you. Bless you. There's Jen. I'd say she's ready to get out. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at yeah, so oh, it. She's wearing a bow. You have to be really gentle with her. Is 
she's soft. Oh my oh, gosh, my I cry. love you guys. It's seriously my cry. That's her nose. Oh, soft, soft, gentle. <laughs> Is that her mouth? Oh, <laughs> that's so fun. Who is that? Oh, that's so nice. Am I out of it, babe? Yeah, I like you too. Say cheese. So cute. To daddy, say cheese. Do you love her? I call this, this right here. All of this, this is like the disaster before the cleanup. I, it, the room gets messier before it gets cleaner. Third movie of the day. Um, Noah and I have had a pretty productive day. Well, I guess it's just been a day. Sam is halfway done cleaning up all of his clothes and stuff upstairs, which is awesome. Um, Noah and I went to the store, although I should have just taken him on a drive because he was almost asleep. Dang it. But that's okay, he'll go to sleep easy tonight. Now, uh, we just finished up dinner. Table's a mess. We made I made orange chicken and fried rice, but I have learned that my children do not like orange chicken. <laughs> I found something they do not like, and it's orange chicken. Watching Finding Dory, we watched, we rented Stork today. Watched that one, it was pretty good, it was all right. Um, and then we watched part of like an animal, Disney Animal Kingdom monkey movie from On Demand. That was pretty good. Wow, it's so pretty outside. Look at these mountains, you guys. Oh, it doesn't do it justice. It was so pretty like a minute ago. Look how beautiful they are. We're so close to them. Yeah. We are working on, right now, Penelope walking. It's a she just wants to dance. She just wants to dance. She just wants to dance. She <laughs> She's still so loosey goosey. Dance, 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 dance. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. And then she also did this thing. Do your thing where you look behind you. Uh oh. She just did this like twice. She looked under her legs. Which means and then, uh, they're looking for their sibling. Their uh, he's sibling. got one. Oh, ow. I just broke my foot. Noah also decides that he wants to try walking, right? He yeah, has Noah, he has his, he has us hold his hands and he walks like a little baby. Here comes Noah. Here he comes. Show Come to me. Show Penelope. Yay! Okay, now Penelope. Your turn. You want to dance? Oh boy, you guys don't even know what's about to lose control. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All our steps are dance steps. Whoa! Can you stand? Can you stand? Uh, 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 uh. Let, let, no one Careful, please. Dance, sissy, dance. Shake your little booty. Dance, sissy, dance. Her little belly jiggling. Oh, you go. Walk to Noah. Walk to Noah. Walk to Noah. Walk to Noah. Where's your shoes? You need your shoes on. Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> Come here. Come here, you. Oh my gosh, his mouth <laughs> dropped open, Sam. Come here. Give me a kiss. Ew, that is so gross. What? I'm all fine. He hates, like, owies. Like, hates if I have it. a cut or anything, he won't come near me. Look at his face. Look at mom right now. What do you think? <laughs> is that gross? Does that scare you? It's gross. What'd you think? You want me to do it to you? Do you have your contact in or no? Is yeah. that? Oh. Do you want me to do it to you? No, ew. Come here. No, ew. Yeah. Me? She's coming for you. Ah. It's watching my day's
I was there. Nice. Yeah. I have, picture, I have pictures of me with the World Series trophy. Oh, dang. 